I will discuss now two extra examples having to do with universal gravitation. And the first one has to do with comparing the moon and the earth. We're told that G on the moon is 1 over 6, its value on the earth. So G, moon, is G, earth, over 6. We're also told that the radius of the moon, R, moon, is about one quarter the radius of the Earth. So 1 over 4 Re. We want to find the ratio of the average densities of the Moon and the Earth. So the density of the Moon is the mass of the Moon divided by the volume of the moon. Now, we're talking about the average density, so we assume that, that it's just the mass divided by the volume. In reality, the density, of course, varies. It's not uniform. For example, at the center of the Earth, the density is much higher than at the surface of the Earth. But the average density is simply the total mass divided by the total volume. So this is the mass of the moon divided by the volume of the moon. The mass of the moon and the volume of the moon is 4 pi over 3. The radius of the moon square. How about the density of the Earth? Same thing, except that replace moon by Earth. So what is rho moon over rho Earth? This is r cube here, sorry. The volume is 4 pi over 3 r cube. So divide rho of the moon by rho of the Earth. It's the mass of the moon divided by 4 pi over 3 r moon cube. Divide this by rho of the earth, which is mass of the earth, divided by 4 pi over 3 r earth cube. So this is equal to mass of moon times over 4 pi over 3 r moon cube times reverse those 4 pi over 3 radius of the earth cube over mass of the Earth. So the 4 pi over 3 cancels, and we're left with the mass of the Moon divided by the mass of the Earth, and then the radius of the Earth over the radius of the Moon cube. Now the radius of the Earth, we're told, is four times the radius of the Moon. So this is 4 cubed, that's 64. So just 64 mass of the moon divided by mass of the Earth. This is the ratio of the densities. So all I need to do is find the ratio of the masses. OK. Now, we know that G for, for any object on the surface of the Earth, so G 
on the Earth is G times the mass of the Earth divided by the radius of the Earth square. And G on the Moon is G times the mass of the Moon divided by the radius of the Moon square. So if I divide G M over G E, the big G cancels, and I'm left with the mass of the moon divided by the mass of the earth times the radius of the earth square over radius of the moon square, so over radius of the moon square. But radius of the earth is four times the radius of the moon. So this is 16 mass of the moon over mass of the earth. And gm over ge, we're told, is 1 over 6. So this is 1 over 6. So mass of moon divided by mass of Earth is 1 over 16 times 6. So rho, moon, over rho, Earth, is 64. Mass of moon over mass of Earth is divided by 16 times 6, which is 2 thirds. This is 96. 64 over 96 is 2 thirds. So the density of the moon is two-thirds the density of the Earth.